If you want to take the family to the movies this weekend, a famous bear returns from more adventures in Paddington 2. But will fans enjoy the sequel? Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon brings us his review. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Charlene. The short answer is yes. This is a movie that has a very rare 100 percent, 100 percent approval rating on the Rotten Tomatoes website, which left me wondering, can the movie really be that good? The lovable bear is back and Paddington 2 is being called adorable and funny, but also smart and kind. All of which makes him most welcome. I have a wonderful family. He adores the Browns and the feeling is mutual. Paddington looks for the good in all of us and somehow he finds it. Hugh Bonville from TV's Downton Abbey plays Mr. Brown, Sally Hawkins his wife. But the bear's thoughts are on his Aunt Lucy's upcoming birthday and getting the proper gift for her. What's this? This pocket book is the only one of its kind, and they want a lot of money for it. So Paddington decides to earn enough money to buy it. Ow. Soon his plan goes awry when the book gets stolen, and in a case of mistaken identity, Paddington gets blamed and sent to prison. Brown pay laundry duty. A lone sock causes mischief, but Paddington prevails. If we're kind and polite, the world will be right. Can't remember when a prison scenario made me giggle, but the bear loses none of his charm behind bars before the real baddie is exposed. We're rich again. This is the latest in such roles for Hugh Grant, men tripped up by their own vanity. But perhaps the most important member of the cast is Ben Wishaw, who provides the voice of Paddington. And I've really got to grips with how things work. <laughs> Family films that are equally appealing to kids of different ages and their parents are always in short supply, which is perhaps one reason Paddington 2 has earned this universal praise. I was charmed, entertained. I think you'll really enjoy it.